Hello everybody, I'm Mike Morgan from Morgan Designs and I'm going to show you three tricks to make yourself a better digital illustrator. We're going to do this. This is trick number one, that's your background color splash. And what this does is it just gives your background a nice cool organic feel and it makes it look way more fun, way more energetic. You know what looks really good on like a middle gray color is highlights and shadows and everything really starts to pop. The next trick to becoming a grade A awesome illustrator is you want to do uh, a dynamic perspective. Okay, so a dynamic perspective. So um, maybe a one point perspective, uh, some sort of cool perspective. And if you want to look at Google and, and look at like some filmmakers and stuff and how they use dynamic perspectives that may give you some ideas too one of my fun ways I like to do is like kind of have a horizon line basically like something like up here and uh, I'm using like kind of the rule of thirds right here I got I got this section and this section and this section are about the same size and so my horizon line is on that third part. So that also gives it a good, kind of a nice layout. Okay, so now I kind of have like, okay, I got this thing that could be in this box. I'm just kind of flowing and letting my hand work, really just listening to my um, creativity and what I want it to do. So right off the bat, I already, I'm already feeling some sort of legs coming down. I see that this whole back end is not working. So what I like to do is take this lasso tool if I have a place that's not working. I like to just circle it all and hit delete. And that way, you're not stuck trying to fix something. And I really enjoy that. So you can just, and now I got a brand new idea to start just hammering in new concepts. It's digital, right? It's digital. So we can just shred digitally with no remorse. Tip number three to be an awesome artist is use warm light cool shadow or cool light with a warm shadow. So what does that mean? That means if I had warm light like something orange yellow orange it's gonna hit something and that something is gonna cast a shadow and that shadow will be cool or blues okay so next time you're out in the Sun I want you to take a look at your shadow on the sidewalk is it blue and the light around your shadow is warm I bet you it is so we're gonna kind of simulate that if I were to pretend that the light is coming from this direction, I'm gonna say that that is warm light. I'm going quickly. Don't overthink it. Let's just get it, get it in there. Okay, then we're gonna do a cool light. All right, so now I'm gonna actually add a secondary light source. So I got my yellow light source, but I'm gonna add a secondary one. Look what we did, look what we did. And we only used three hot techniques. A background color splash, a dynamic perspective, and warm, light, cool shadow. I hope you enjoyed those techniques. Write me back, email me, you can call me, you can uh, hit me on Instagram. I'm wondering, is, was this helpful to you at all? Were these things you already knew? Did you enjoy it? Did you try it? What did you try it on? Did you try it on a job? Did you try it on a homework assignment? Um, have you seen it in the movies? What movies do they really use this kind of technique? I hope you enjoyed this uh, demo. My name is Mike Morgan from MikeMorganDesigns.com. Go check me out. Hit me on the Instagram and all that stuff. If you ever got any questions, feel free to give me a call. I'm not too awesome talk to you. Have a good day. Bye.